Shalom fam, again it's that biblical babe and I'm still going, oh my voice is getting a bit crusty, oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I want to speak on this vision that the father gave me the other day. And it was of this, it was a vision, I was awake, that's what a vision is, when you're awake and when a, you're dreaming, it's a dream when you're asleep, I mean, yeah, when you're sleeping, you dream. So this is what I saw, I saw this pink butterfly and it was like lying upside down and it's feet the feet of the butterfly it's like i just saw hands like the hands were it looked as if repairing the feet of this butterfly okay and i know this was for me personally because i love the color pink i i love pink but um the butterfly was about i don't think sorry my son just came in the room so it kind of just threw my mind a little bit but um yeah so this pink butterfly um with its feet being repaired by hands the hands are the potter's wheel we are the clay many of us we've stepped into our butterfly season okay we have gone into a cocoon we were in a period of isolation previously we've stepped out of that we are butterflies that fought our way out of the old skin that we were wearing this thing that we had uh allowed to cover us in order for us to fit into the world we've been born again outside of our uh, the expectations of others the projections of others that have shaped the identity we had when we were worldly people we've come into a new paradigm we are butterflies but we might not be completely flying yet some of you you might feel like i'm not flying i know i'm a new creature in christ and i'm born again i don't think the way I, I used to think i'm a different person my experiences are different now even even if i was to go into the exact same situation circumstance environment the person that i actually am is different i'm not a caterpillar i'm not a caterpillar just out here yamming and bear things no i'm selective honey i can fly to any flower that i like but right now i'm not moving I'm not exactly sure where to move. That somebody, and this is what the father will show me, that he's correcting the feet, your feet. He's dealing with your feet. And this links to the scriptures about um, the full armour of God, having the preparation of the gospel of peace. Let me just find it correctly. But it says that um, this is Ephesians, the full armor of God is in Ephesians 6.10, the New King James Version. Ephesians 6.15 says, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Shod meaning it's like it's tied to your feet, the preparation of the gospel of peace. I'm going to just break that down real quickly, just so you can really understand what the Lord was showing me through this vision. That some of you, your feet ain't really moving right now. He's preparing your feet with the gospel of peace. But what does that actually mean? Does it mean that you have to be an evangelist standing on the corners, handing out letters, being like a Jehovah Witness, trying to give it out letters at people's door and you have to hide and don't answer the door because you don't want to chat to nobody? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, um, it's not necessarily saying that. It's saying that you are being prepared. Your feet are being prepared to walk in the gospel of the peace. Uh, of peace what is the gospel of peace that is the scriptures the spiritual laws that i always say i don't believe the bible is just you know i believe this because i'm religious no it's spiritual laws <clears throat> to be prepared this is about the going back to ephesians 6 and how somebody your feet are being prepared that's why you're not moving you're not seeing huge movement in your life your feet are being prepared okay and you have to prepare your journey, you have to plan, you have to know where you're going and be packed and have the resources that you need for your journey or else something might happen that day, you know. Something might just happen if you don't have what you need for your journey. Somebody, you're being prepared and this means you're having a firm foundation, you're gaining the knowledge, wisdom and understanding, which is the most thing, get in all thy getting, get your understanding of the scriptures of who the Father is to you. That Nobody can come and tell you that, God don't do that. He doesn't do that because in my experience, he's never done that. That's your experience. Who he, is he to you? You have to give an account of who he is, not your parents account, not your grandmother's parents account. I mean, yeah, it's your account of who the Lord is. OK, it's preparing you and 
the gospel of peace now peace i love that word this is what i live by this is just the standard for my life this is how i know the direction i'm walking in is the correct direction because of shalom which is greater than just peace peace is completeness or shalom the shalom of the lord is harmony it's completeness i'm trying to find it wholeness it's health, welfare, peace, safety, soundness, tranquility, prosperity, perfectness, fullness, rest, the absence of agitation or discord. This is how I know that I'm in the right place because my peace surpasses everything that anybody else can put to me as their own understanding. No, I know this is where I'm supposed to be. I know this is the right person for me because I have a peace that surpasses my own comprehension i can't describe to you that oh you know this is why i'm this doing this or you know there was a logical rational reasoning behind this no it's because the spirit of the lord has already prepared me with the gospel of peace that has put me here so this is why i know this is where i'm supposed to be somebody if you feel like your feet they ain't moving you're just I know I'm a new creature in Christ and I I think differently and I I know and I believe what the Lord has said about me but I don't really see it yet you don't see it yet let your guide for wherever you're going because you might have a, a, a decision that's coming up or you're already experiencing this because this is what I'm just getting in my spirit let that be your guide what provides you peace wholeness the shalom of the lord that will always be your confirmation that you are in the right place okay um but yeah that's just a strange little message but all praises to the most high because he is my peace it is his shalom that i extend to you now all right shalom sweetheart